Hello everyone, Legion True Hero here, and welcome to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Super excited to share this one with you guys. Um, I played a good bit of this on my own, but I decided I wanted to play this for you guys, so we are going to do just that. <clears throat> as soon as it signs me in, at least. Jesus! So, I have several characters, and I'm pretty far, I, I don't know how far into the game I actually am, um, I haven't played it in a minute, and I don't know how long the game is. So, it says chapter 9, don't know how, relatively what that means, but what we're going to do, we're going to do a balanced game, cooperation, and watch the cutscenes. There is a world beyond the Borderlands. A world forged by wonder and ruled by fate. The battle between these powers has raged since the beginning. Evil and good. Villains and heroes. A vicious cycle endlessly repeated. Wonder is the power of a cruel, unpredictable god. But first, yes. there's one alone who can wield fate. One alone whose story is in their own hands. The Fate Maker. That's you. Heavy, right? Yes. <laughs> Big responsibility. Honestly, I wouldn't even blame you if you just laid down in a puddle and gave up. <clears throat> but well if, not, if you try and prove yourself as fate maker then heed the warning i give all heroes together you fight together you shall fall i actually haven't watched a lot of these cutscenes so Like you said, we're the heroes. I am Valentine, gallant adventurer. The scary stabby one is Fred. What about that one? That's the newbie. It's their first adventure. Oh, come on. Their figure isn't even fully painted. Enough talk. We're here to stop you from taking the soul energy. Fools! I've already absorbed all of the soul energy. I'm invincible! Ow. Sorry, newbie. We missed the soul energy. Castles will burn. Babies will cry. More than usual. <laughs> More than usual. Over the lands. Looking bad. How do we win this? We attack together. Is that how you win? Apparently not. Rude. They don't make heroes like they used to. Time to die! But then, just as the heroes lose hope, they hear... A nay? Yeah, and also like, you know, like a sparkly rainbow, which goes like, crinkle, cr -cr 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 -cr! It is What is that sound effect? <laughs> Hold on, what game are we playing here? We're playing Bunkers and Badasses, baby! <laughs> and I, Tiny Tina, am the Bunker Master. So what I say goes! And I say there's a magical diamond buying a corn named Butt Stallion who saves the day! Oh, I was kind of hoping we would save the day. You will, Valley Girl. I just gotta set the stakes. Now, let's table talk. Kill Dragon Lord! Q Dragon Lord. Stallion. You may be the most but stallion. Perfectest ruler in all the land. But this time, I won. But, but stallion was wielding the coolest sword in the whole world. The sword of Zoom. 
Souls, Souls, Souls. Oh, would you? I just made those skeletons. No. No. I curse you, Valentine. I curse you, Fred. And most of all, I curse you, newbie. Hey, what did I do? I will return and finally rid this world of heroes. And with that, the Dragon Lord was defeated. If we know. Explosion complete! Who's ready to rickety role play? Yeah, might as well. We're stranded here after that mountain totally jumped out at our ship. <laughs> yeah, he crashed it. I'm in. I love bunkers and badasses. I've already got a level 40 character. Now, 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 we are making all new characters. This is the newbie's first game, and I'm gonna make sure it's an adventure they'll never forget. You ready, newbie? Time for character sheets, baby! Finally. Going on six minutes in, and we are just not making our character. So let's see, we've got the Stabomancer, the Clawbringer, the Spellshot, the Graveborn, the Spore Warden, the Berserker, and the Blightcaller. Um, the Blightcaller is actually the newest one um, that came out with one of the DLCs, and I don't know much about them. So we're actually going to choose that one. We're going to be super tall. Yes. Give us a little bit of bigger head. Magnificent. I make heroism look good. And then we'll go a little bit deeper. Magnificent. Yeah, there we go. He him. All right. Wait. Yeah, we're going to stick with the male. We'll do that one. Ifrit Dryad. What in the world? I don't know. Rainstone, Heartwine, Coruska. I like the blue one. We'll do blue. Oh, geez. Hairstyles. Hmm. We're going with a character that, as far as I know, does a lot of magic and, uh,. Status effects, so I like this one. And we're going to... That one. What hair color should we go with? We'll go with this one. Um, there's no real point with the way we're set up to mess with the eyes or the nose and ears. Um, can't really see them, but we'll put some on just in case. Yes, we're going to go with evil eyes. Hmm. I like void sight. Nothing to mess with there, so we're going to move on to the face decoration. There are so many things here. Um, we're kind of got our face covered, so no point in tattoos or scarring. Uh, I don't really see a point in eyeliner or lipstick either with the face coverings. Let's see. Armor pattern. Mm. 
By the way, this is take two of this recording. There was a, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but there was a setting messed up in my um, console that I didn't realize until I was three episodes in. So we're just starting from scratch. I'm not thrilled about it. Let's see. We'll start with secondary color, because I believe that's going to be the... Yeah, okay. What do we want here? What's this? Alright, that's not bad. I like the purple. I'm digging it. Um... I want... No... Barbican black metal? Myron Myra and Iron? Probably white chrome. Sh shade shimmer black chrome. Royal oil chrome? Oh, rainbow effect. I think we're gonna go with the bar uh, barbican, and I think we'll do that here as well to try and make that purple pop a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks good. And we're gonna continue. Now, there's a lot of this I could read, but I think. We're going to go with this one, which is what I chose in the first attempt. Now this class, it says that we are best, our best attributes are wisdom and attunement. Unfortunately, I don't know necessarily what that will do. Oh, of course. <clears throat> um... I don't know what it'll mean, um, like if we need to focus on those stats exclusively or not, but for, I'm going to try it and see if it works. Time's up! Okay, uh, Valentine, you've just drawn your own face over the character sheet? It said draw your hero, and I'm my own hero. Oh, I can look around. Does murder a thousand damage? My bad. I left off a zero. Okay, no plan. Fred and Valentine can't be trusted with pencils, let alone dice. So it is up to you, newbie. You are the fate maker. And these fools shall be thine advisors, I guess. Fine. I advise that you better be a badass. We're here to slay evil and get gold. I know Sounds good to me. Is a role model. Follow my lead, and you'll be a great fate maker. All right, one last thing. Bunkers and Badasses is a role-playing game, baby. That means you do not break character voice. Kapisky? Break me off a piece of that. I am destined for greatness and glory. This quest is merely the start of my legend. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Mm -hmm. Now, prepare to enter a world... Look at all this stuff. I want the click clack math rocks. Uh I don't see anything. You gotta imagine it, knucklehead. Just close your eyes and wonder. I want the dice. Ooh, dice. Snoring Valley, an unassuming and peaceful corner of the cruise. That harbors a dark secret. You journeyed far here, heeding the call of the queen herself. That would hurt. What could she want of us? She fears the Dragon Lord will soon reawaken. We must find his tomb and prevent his resurrection. I can slide. We get to whoop his ass. Uh, here's a little cheat sheet to track your health and map and stuff. Punch. I was about to ask what that neighing was, and then I realized it was the chest. You 
recognize one of the queen's waystones. This it calls to me. What an interesting ability. Uh, apparently I'm gonna jump and slam. Just keep on moving. Oh, look, another one. Ahead, the glint of edge steel beckons you forward. Some hot. This steel. I didn't mean to cut you off. I didn't know it would. Love a good axe. Great for cleaving, hacking, even a good old-fashioned chop chop. The magical hoofprints continue through the cave. The rocky ceiling dips low. A chop chop, you say? A true bait maker knows when to stand tall and when to crouch. Yeah, work them yeah, I figured that out. And if you get a start, <laughs> weirdly enough. I figured that out too. I see crabs! Da Pinchy! Brittle crab. There's another one? You have defeated the crabs! Luckily, they were carrying their life savings for some reason. All yours now! Yes, all mine now. I'm working on it, fret. Sassin' me. Why am I a bing bong? What is a bing bong? Gun! It's a gun! Hardly a fine weapon, but in the hands of a champion, four shot and two shot burst. Wait, there's guns in fantasy? You're in Tainus fantasy, baby! Can I cheat? Yes. Nestled in the bodacious bosom of the valley, but beyond it, a dark and ancient castle lurks. Lurkingly. Doubtless the dragon lord. It's very pretty. Nest within that dark ruin. <clears throat> Let us find out. Away we go. I either missed or can't damage that guy. Okay. Huh? What was that whooshing sound? Oh, there's one behind me. Oh. Uh, it's hard to be surprised when I already had to do a bunch of this. It's been a minute since I played through it um, on my main character. But I did just do this as a... I tried to record this earlier, like I said. And so, you know, that's always fun. All is lost. Can we blow up the rocks? Sorry, it's impossible. Without explosives. Victory! I never lost hope. Ahead. Yes. Raging fire and the clacking and clack. Village is already ransacked. Oh, I apparently ran too fast. I didn't know that would happen.
Um, so the only part that was missed, well, because I ran too fast, was... Um, uh, Valentine. Valentine is his name. He says we're gonna save the village, and Tina says what she says, and he says we're here to avenge it. So, that's all that got missed. Is there more? Oh. I want to be able to summon things. Your sword hurts. Jesus. So does mine. Rude. Better gun. Save the peasant. Peasant ass peasant. Still makes me giggle. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna level up. Bog totem. The fate maker summons a bog totem companion at target location, which periodically creates elemental bog sprites that seek out nearby enemies, dealing ability damage and exploding on impact. Damage type is based on the fate maker's currently equipped gun when activated. All right, we're going to take that because we don't have any other choice. And status effect, duration, and chance. Okay. Gun critical hits have a chance to create a homing poison bog spirit that seeks out nearby enemies, dealing poison dam ability damage and exploding on impact. I think I'm going to take that. Uh, this is just ward capacity. Oh, I missed a point. So we're going to do this. Like I said, we're going to focus on the two skills it recommended. I knew the queen would send us a hero. The tomb is in the crypt below Castle Herofast. You must hurry before his minions find it. The tomb is inside a crypt. The perfect hiding place. May the queen's favor see your noble all right, let's go. Castle Herofast are just out yonder. Which is fantasy. I sense the dragon lord's presence. His tomb is somewhere beneath these ruins. Find him. Bog totem. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we already beat the dragon lord. That was forever ago. He's a necromancer. It's hard to legit kill him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, cranky boy. Oh, there's another one. Oh, you were almost dead. What? A felling blow. Meh, 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 meh. Satisfying. Kill them dead. And now you're dead. I'm rude. I noticed. So, Tina, maybe after this quest, I could be the bunker master. I've been working on a campaign. Ice weapon. And kissing. Money. Oh. 
I don't like the term brain sauce. Ah! Changes elements depending on the gun I'm holding. That makes more sense now. I'll always win. Spastic Reloader. Oh no, that's way too much of a zoom. Magic spell! I cast magic missile into the darkness. Yeah, I unfortunately already know. Oops. Bonk! Wee! Woo! Okay. Apparently she just spits. <laughs> that was all. There was no more to that. Get dead. Whoa. We win! Let's go! Your soul! Who am I? Who are you? Well, it needs to unbegun. <laughs> Why is her book upside down? I got a special figurine for this guy. One second. Rising before you is one of the Dragon Lord's most loyal undead soldiers. It's I like her watch. Roll for initiative! At least I think it's a watch. It looks like a watch. Ribula, you say? Ooh, electricity hurts. Not a fan. No, he was not. Magic barrage of flickering. That does more damage. I'm all about more damage. Let's stop this thing. than the ones she said before. Hmm. Am I? I wonder. Are you sure? I How sure? Wonder. We'll meet again, Fate Maker. But for now, I have to go pay an old shiny friend a visit. See you around. A purple? Day. Wow. Damn it, he got away. We gotta track him down. I want that big bad boss kind of loose. 
Ooh, I actually like that one. They were pretty much the same shield. The Fate Maker's journey begins as so many do, with a heart full of fire, dreams of dragons, and magic. Okay. And only one way. The ultimate defeat of all. Despite your heroic efforts, the Dragon Lord has escaped! Wait a minute. Did you hear what he said? Shiny? Friend? Neighborhood? I know where he's headed. He's after Queen Butt Stallion! Queen Butt Stallion! Dragon Lord's escape, you must travel far across the Wonderlands to the capital city of Bright. Killing crabs. My conscience is clean, villain. My conscience is clean. All right, the Wonderland's Overworld. Nice. This game is so pretty. Imagine making this like like a, re a realistically making a whole terrain and everything. It takes so much effort and time. Woo! All right. That looks like a good enough place to stop for this one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like down below. If you got something you'd like to share, feel free to leave a comment while you're at it. And as always, I am Legion True Hero. This has been Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and I am out. See you guys.